Hi everyone, this is Great and Grace. Grace. <laughs> What's your name? Great. I'm Grace the <laughs> <but> Great. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Dad. <laughs> and this is another episode of Coding with Dad. And uh, what are you going to show today? Um, today we're going to work through a project. Uh, it's a Fahrenheit to Celsius converter. And um, this is not a quick tip. This is a full episode. Yeah, honey. And so we're going to um, we're going to show you how to create this. Yeah, and how were you inspired to do this? We're, we're on vacation, and we saw like a hot, a tub, hot tub that had a that had, temperature on that it. That temperature was like 104 degrees and 40 degrees Celsius. Yeah, but I also knew that it was zero negative. degrees for Celsius was freezing. And, and, and 32, so I figured out negative 32. No, it's positive 32. But I figured out what the um, ratio ratio was. And how to cut. And, yeah, and then I created this project to convert Fahrenheit. To Celsius. So, um, it draws the thermometer up. That was from, um, the scratcher of the episode, actually, which I'll show you later. But, um, if I enter the temperature of Fahrenheit, so whatever temperature you want, uh, do you want... I want, let's, let's prove it. If I enter, I know 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what we originally tried to solve, is 100 degrees Celsius. So, okay, good. And if you do, like, random numbers, like... 30 goes to negative 1. If it's mm -hmm. 10, it goes to negative 12. It's, it's 50. Try like something like today. It might be at 80 degrees outside. So, okay. well, we are. So, and you can see the temperature goes, the thermometer goes up, up, up. And if it's like a hundred, if it's like a hundred degrees, then it goes up, 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 up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, so now I got, I did everything myself except for the well, pretty much myself. I, the, the idea was in front of my dad, I gave him credit there, <laughs> oh, got nice. the equation from somewhere because I, I, I already knew how to solve it, but I needed a steady equation, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, then if I go to the... Oh, where'd you get the idea for that cool loading bar? Well, that was, again, that was <laughs> from Catercraft, and that's his thing, if I find it, he has loading bar, and this is what I got from, I made some edits to the code. So that it went up and down, and um, see it loads across. But um, I made some edits to it, so it would go across, it would go up depending on how high the temperature was, and it would also um, go up and down. So great. Okay. That was the uh, adjustments I made to it. But that's this is what we're gonna be making today. Yes. So um, if I go to create. I can see Scratch Cat. Sorry, Scratch Cat. We're going to delete Scratch Cat. Draw. Oh. <laughs> bye bye. Hmm. <laughs> but, um, now you can just, you can just do very simple. You, you don't have to bother. We're not going to bother with any graphics. Fancy graphics, yeah. Gotta but, um, we're just going to do the basics of what it is. Um, should we not do a loading bar or should we just. Yeah, we don't, we're not going to do a loading bar or a thermometer thing that goes up and down. You can look at your other project for that, right? Yeah, it, it, you're welcome to look at, um, but you're welcome to look at the converter and try to figure it out. And That's on Gracie Girl? Yeah. I mean, we'll, try to put, we'll also put it on code, the Coding with Dad one. Yes, yes. That's our new um, Scratch account, tutorial, yeah. and we're going to, our new account, that, but we're going to do that. In. So we're let's do the bare bones with. version of just just what the conversion is, right? Yes. So um, let's just we're going to create a sprite. Well, you don't need to create a sprite, but I feel like creating okay. something to store our variables in. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're going to make the variable name um, uh, Celsius or just C for Celsius, mm -hmm. and then uh, F for Fahrenheit. Okay. So then, then we're going to then so we can make this, put these right in the middle. Okay. And so we can have it ask then it, in the beginning if it asks if there's nothing, but you we can know that that way right. so we can enter in the Fahrenheit value what we want right here. Yep. So we want this right now. It doesn't do anything, but. <laughs> so then it's going to set the Fahrenheit value to the answer. So if we come back here, then and then it should it's going to broadcast convert. 
So then when this receives convert, so when this when it tells it to convert the Celsius the Fahrenheit to Celsius, okay. it's going to um going to do the calculation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot what I'm like I had a brain fart. I was like <laughs> Oh did my brain is what lag. Like, what? <laughs> but um so it's going to set the Celsius value to here comes the equation. Okay. So it's going to be um so should we do um how what was the I forgot what the equation was, so I did so I'm just gonna need to look at this really quick. Yeah, no problem. Okay, right, so I'll just explain it here and then we can rewrite it. So the Fahrenheit value minus thirty two because um Celsius is at zero is the freezing point and Fahrenheit is the it is thirty two degrees. 30, so yeah. you once you figure out that ratio, which it's, happens to be five if you take the Fahrenheit I mean, divided by five ninths, that's the ratio between uh a Fahrenheit and Celsius. But since since uh Celsius starts at zero and Fahrenheit freezing starts at thirty two, that's why we had to shift it by thirty two. So let's write it. So it was Fahrenheit times um with a plus. Right? I think it was minus. Minus, minus yeah. Because it has to minus it because um Because it's 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 yeah, already it, it's already it's the scale is Yeah, shifted. so thirty two is freezing in Fahrenheit, but zero is freezing in centigrade, so you have to make you what after you do the calculation you have to bring and it down. And then by we 32. do times five ninths. The division is the same thing as Fractions, if it's like, yep. if it has, um, if it's, um, less than, yeah. or, or even bigger than, then it's a, um, well, that makes sense because, um, five ninths is, is five almost eight. half, right? Yes. It's like not, it's a little more than half. So, you know, like when you think of a Fahrenheit, like, it's, it makes sense because, like, 212 to, to 100 degrees. So let's look at this. So we enter in a value. It's 49. We get 9.44444. Now with mine, well, let's check Well, let's, can we test it with um, with variable, with values that we know? Yes, that's actually a good idea. I was going to look it up on <laughs> Google. <laughs> if we, if we actually go go back to where you are, because we know um, on your project, if you, ent if you run it and enter a value of Fahrenheit of 32, it should be zero Celsius, right? Yep. yep. And how about if we enter a Fahrenheit value of 212? That's that's spoiling. It should be 100. Yep. So oh. it works. But if you want, you can. What I did for my other one is I I put it in a round thing. So basically, what that does is it, is it rounds it to the nearest um, one. So yeah. that way there won't be any decimals, and that's for me that's just better. Yeah. Yeah. It just looks a little better. Yeah. It looks easier. But um, and then there's one more thing I did. Um, I just had it. Have this in a forever loop. That way, it could, we could do enter a value, then enter in another value. Oh, like, feel, yeah. and it's still like it's still oh, works. that's great. So, so you can keep on trying different values. Yes, that just like um this one. Now, if you were to go to your project here, what are the fancy things you did? Maybe you can just even just because that that um loading bar is pretty cool. Yeah. Is, it, is that where's that code? Right here. <laughs> wow. That's nice. I could do that in another video, or I can do it right now. If you know how it works, maybe you might want to explain it now. Um, um, I'm not exactly sure because I did take this from someone else, mm -hmm. but I, I mean, obviously, I had to edit it a little bit. I took it from. Uh, we announced it before. Go back to the beginning of the video and <laughs> rewind. <laughs> Rewatch it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but um, I, I think I know the basic idea. So it goes to a certain point, and it's in, it sets the pen color. Okay. Then it just draws the background, mm -hmm. and it sets the pen size to 30. Then um, it changes the y position by this variable width times 2. So I guess that's how it draws. It's okay. It's kind of... Makes sense. I, I'm, I'm not sure I understand it completely, but with this code I, I wrote, so if it was greater than... A certain point, so I don't want it to go off the edge. So right. if, it was, if the temperature for Celsius was greater than a certain point, then I would um, just bring it to the top, 
But okay. if it if it but if it wasn't, then I've just put it to the Celsius value. Oh, nice. And that's a pretty slick looking loading bar. So yeah. So thanks to them. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we can. Um, are we all set with this episode? Um. Because maybe we could just show his page again. Or can I show? Can I, um, one more thing I did oh, okay. for the trick was I had a text box because I didn't want the answer to be like showing because I thought it would look a little cleaner if it was mm. if it had these things. So I just put these things around it. They're each a separate sprite. Oh, nice. Because I, I found it didn't work if I had it all in one sprite because it didn't let me click in it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why, but it just lets me. But that looks pretty nice. Though. Though. That's a nice little tip, too. Yeah. Um, can we? Do you have a link to. The person who did the progress, who should we end the show with? Uh, yes. The sure. episode with him. Okay, so it was. I think I have his information right there. And that's right here. He comes. He comes. Right here. Cattercraft. Yeah. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Yeah, but they did a <laughs> yeah, Very impressive. He has a lot. I would go and look at his other um, projects because he has a lot of really mm -hmm. nice projects. Yep. So uh, are we all set for this episode? Um, yeah. All right. Hey, that was great. And, uh, and I, you know, we would encourage you to, to do other kinds of calculation things like that or converters. There's a lot of things you could yep. do, and you could even use it for a school project, you know, if you do something like mm -hmm. that. So, till the challenge uh, of this video is if you, if anybody wants to do <laughs> if anybody wants to, you could, um, you could try to do, I challenge you to try to do, um, inch, inches to. Oh, metric, a metric converter? Converted? Yeah, inches to centimeters, maybe centimeters. Yeah. And if you can do that, and you put it in the comments, um, then I'll give you a shout out. Yeah. Hopefully, like a trillion people will do it. Then I'll be like, <laughs> do I get the shout out? To? But, uh, I don't think that'll happen. No. If somebody does it, then I'll get, I'll give them a shout out on the next Cutting Dead. Sounds good. Okay. All right. So till next time. Bye.